find the area of the parallelogram that has adjacent sides defined by vector u and vector v. So rewriting vector units component form has components 2, minus 1, positive 1, and vector v has components 0, 2, minus 1. And we are looking for the area of this parallelogram. So we want to start by recalling that the area of a parallelogram can be defined by the magnitude of the cross product of u times v. So the first thing that we need to do is to find the cross product. So it's finding the cross product of u and vector v. And so we recall that vector u cross vector v is u sub 2 times v sub 3 minus u sub 3 times v sub 2 multiplied by vector i minus u sub 1 times v sub 3 minus u sub 3 times v sub 1 all multiplied by unit vector j plus u sub 1 times v sub 2 minus u sub 2 times v sub 1 multiplied by our unit vector k. So we're plugging in the components of these given vectors here. So this is equal to, we have negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 minus 1 multiplied by 2, and that's times unit vector i, minus positive 2 times negative 1, minus 1 multiplied by 0 times unit vector j, plus 2 multiplied by 2, minus negative 1 times 0, and that's multiplied by unit vector k. So simplifying here, we have negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, minus 2, times unit vector i, minus negative 2 minus 0, times unit vector j, plus 4 minus 0, times unit vector k, and see we are left here with a, uh, a minus 1, here we'll be careful, this is minus 1, here we have negative 2, and this is 4, so we are left with minus 1 times unit vector i, minus times a minus leaves us with plus 2 times unit vector j, and then plus 4 times vector k. And then again, I'm just going to rewrite this in its component form. Negative 1, 2, 4. So either one of these answers is beautiful for the cross product. But that's not all we need here. Now that we have the component, we're ready to find the magnitude of this cross product. So this is the, the length of the vector u cross v, and that is the square root of negative 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 4 squared, all under the square root. So you have the square root of 1 plus 4 plus 16. Uh, so we have 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 16 leaves us with the square root of 21. And we can't simplify this any further. So you can say, therefore, the area of the parallelogram, which we know is defined as the cross product, or the magnitude of the cross product of vectors u and vector v. Here's the square root of 21, and since it's an area, this is square units or units squared or u squared, whatever your little heart desires. And this is our final answer.